welcome back. It's D Clay Golem here again, Foundry version 12. Just may, I have to make sure I say that every time to make sure people know what we're operating on. Uh, I'm back looking at Tactical Grid. We had a few little glitches and a few little issues um, when we looked at it. Really, really good. We were getting an error and my grid kept disappearing. Um, so thank you for a couple of people who made the comments about it. Uh, I actually reached out to the mod developer, um, Adif, Adif. I hope I've said that even remotely correctly um, and sent them a copy of my error log that I was getting from my console um, because I was getting an error pop up and it's a conflict to do with version 12. Of course it is. Um, I sent that through to him this morning. He's fixed it already. I say he. I'm assuming it's a he. That's really not correct, is it? Um, but they have fixed it genius that they are regardless of their gender um yeah so they have fixed tactical grid for us so let me just show you what the settings are i've got on mine at the moment i've got the enable range highlighter and we didn't look at the range bit last time so i want to cover that today um but we fixed that so my tactical grid is all on I did make a couple of changes just to try and make it a bit easier for you guys to see on screen. Normally I would have it combat only, but in this instance I haven't. Um, and uh, we can change our grid colours and things to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see what's going on here. Um, again, nothing particularly massive has changed with this. Under the range thing though, I have got the item range enabled because we didn't look at this before, and the token range highlighter enabled as well. So what does this mean? Get rid of that. When I hover over, regardless of anybody who's targeted or not, when I hover over Sorryman, now it's not very clear because it's white, but can you see my grid now pops up very reliably. And if I hover over the goblin again, I get the same thing, that same grid size. And when we looked at it before, of course, you can have that set that that grid size is based on that character. Um, or that individual actor rather than the default I've got mine on the default of six squares um, these orange squares around here are currently showing the range of the weapon okay so both of these characters can hit anything within five feet at this time set as the default but the grid works really happy with that and we know that if I drag my character around it will continue to measure what the distance is to all of the other tokens um, including hostiles so what about the range bit then okay so if Sorryman opens up his character sheet and he goes to short bow if I hover over that ranged weapon I get this big grid if I zoom out what you'll notice is it's green and then as we move to the right side it becomes orange that's our range it, it's really that simple if I move and hover over hand axe, you can see that that makes it a bit clearer what this is doing. It is showing us what is our uh, our medium and then our long range. It gets darker the further we go out. So straight away, we can see that throwing my hand axe at that goblin is going to be a long range. That's going to be a disadvantage. If I'm using my short bow, oh no, no disadvantage there. You're well within range. And again, I can do that with um, my hand axe or my dagger. Going to do the same thing. Also works for the monsters. So pop into the goblin, go to the goblin short bow. I can see obviously Sorryman is very much in range. Whether you want to use that or not is up to you. I actually really like this. I think this is really, really handy. Not only because we got the measure of how far I'm away. I don't need to have the grid showing at all. They won't see the grid. Enter combat. Everybody gets their personal grid that's only relevant to them. They can do the measuring. They can see how far stuff is away of accident. <laughs> accidentally attacked. <laughs> I think Sorryman just shot himself. Um, but yeah, we can absolutely see straight away what those ranges are going to be. I think it's really, really nice. So uh, just thought I'd give a little update. Really nice little module. Um, you may or may not use it. Up to you. But uh, yeah, it's been fixed for version 12. Really super fast. Lovely. What an amazing modding community. That's it. Just a short one. Take care.